you know, if I get a little emotional, I guess. It's been, um, a, we're very, very lucky. It's a little scary, I mean, when someone says to you, listen, you have this disease that you've never heard of before, and um, you, you really, there's no known treatment for it. It's overwhelming to an individual to know that you have a chronic disease and that it's going to take over one of your organs. What I always tell people is I have an autoimmune disease that attacks my kidneys. Since it is a disease that doesn't show on the outside of you, people are first to assume you're doing this for attention. You don't actually have this. This is fake. So when I was first diagnosed, me and my mom were just kind of doing some research and I went on Facebook and just kind of searched for it. So I just joined it and honestly just like really meaningful to be able to meet people going through it and like because I feel like I have some sort of connection to them and like they understand and I understand. I so didn't know what IGA was before I was diagnosed and um, many people still don't know what it is when you tell them that you have it. So it's really nice just to be around people who understand it a little bit more and understand how it affects you and, and what can happen. So. I think it's important to see people that have IGAN know that you can live a happy life, you can be productive. It's a struggle in the beginning and it's overwhelming in the beginning, but you, you, you can live a, a, a good life. You know, we're all in the same boat and we're all fighting for the same mission. The IGA Foundation website actually has links to credible resources. Yeah, arm yourself with knowledge because that's going to be your greatest empowerment with your disease process.